Purdue. Tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. Good outside run there. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. Well, that's a strong run. It makes a statement when you can run the ball like that. Setting up the play action. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. From the 48-yard line, first down. Makes it out to about the 36. run there as they work the outside. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 31-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. And that'll be a first down on the six-yard pass. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And they'll get him in the backfield. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. Loss of five there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Four down, four down. Hey, check mic 39. Check mic 39. And he hits him hard at the 36. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Michigan State is looking to go up by three. It's up, looks long enough, and it sails right on him, no good. All it takes is a split second of something going wrong. A low snap, a bad hold, a slip, and you've got a miss to the right or the left. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And he's level at the 33. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Throws complete. He's hammered. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up third and six. And he's tackled around the 48 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 48 yard line. Ready. 
They try running left. And he is drilled at the 49-yard line. That makes it second and eight. He's going to try and scramble. And he tackles him hard at the 40. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Here we go. Black 68. Black 68. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start, start offense. offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out Still there, it's bound down. to happen occasionally. The penalty makes it second and 15. He scrambled. Right down at the 41-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Passes it to the middle of the field. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. So at the end of one, no score here. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. He fights forward to about the 30. Gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Dog four. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. There's a very impressive open field tackle. to the line. You know, as, as a running back, you've Once got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind team. of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. Third down again. He's got the corner. That's a great tackle at the 47. Brought down. 
six yards. That'll make it second and four. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Green nine, green nine. Set. Set. Tackle at the 36 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36 yard line. He's into the open field. He gets to about the 27 yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. got nowhere to go. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. We're at the 12th play of the drive. throw out to the receiver and he's taken down at the 13. I think he could have taken a risk down the field but he played it safe instead and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down and they'll bring him down behind the line. Loss of two by the halfback. A loss of two yards. That'll bring up third and six. Here's play number 14 of this drive. Red two. Connect. Taken down to the backfield. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. That brings us fourth and seven. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Michigan State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset, and they're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Flag 98. Flag hot. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He steps out at about the 41. That makes it second and six. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Yeah, check, hey, Mike. Hey, no, no, let's switch the mic right here. Whoa, Mike Ford, Mike Ford. Ready, red 18. Red 18. Motion, motion, motion. Over the middle, got his tight end, and they make the stop at the 48. So they'll pick up a first down there on a seven-yard completion. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can't ask for much more than that. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. He's at the 40. And down he goes at the 37-yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. Easy, easy, easy. Rally! Watch the Rally! Slant. Watch the slant. He's on the run. 
He's pushed out of bounds at the 18. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. From the 18-yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the nine. Looks left, picked off. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. From their own 17-yard line, it's first down. Michigan State holds a field goal lead. Gets out to around the 25. That makes it second and two. So we've played two quarters. The Spartans lead 3 0. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Michigan State's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled around the 29-yard line. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 29. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. to the 40. Makes it out to about the 50. That's a team of 19 on the ball. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Mike 40, Mike 40. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for me. That brings him second and five. So it's another third down upcoming here. He's hit and taken down. Impressive game there by the do it all back. Hit 
He's scrambling. And he's tackled right around the 32-yard line. That's good for a game. This is the eighth play of this drive. Four down, four down. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Why in the world would the offense run a route short of the first down? That just baffles me every time I see that. Purdue is down three and looking to tie it up. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. They come out on an empty backfield. And he's immediately tackled. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Scrambling around. He's at midfield. Run down. Right around the 48-yard line. First and ten, ball on the 48. Here he goes. He's at the 30, and they push him out at about the 25-yard line. That makes it first and ten. the give and he's level at the 26 yard line that is a loss of one yard that'll bring up second and 11. it's second down and 11 to go ball on the 26 yard line four down four down hey check mike 39 check mike red two check check Dan Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. He's out of bounds at the 21. Michigan State is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it's up the upright, and it's good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the 28-yard line.
from their own 28 yard line. It's second down. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football and check it down or take off and run with it. Got hit and still completed it. Tackled for a loss. Impressive play by the defense. They're feeling pretty good about themselves right now. That'll make it fourth and ten. End of the third, and we've got a tight one. 6-3, Michigan State. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's to the 40. He goes out of bounds around the 42-yard line. Kirk, I got to ask you, are these two offenses that anemic or are the defenses that good? I think it's a combination of both. I think both of these offenses have shown at times an ability to execute for points on the board, but they're playing against two really good defenses. Well, here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game, and every possession is going to count from here on out. Michigan State is up by three. Nice run up the middle. That's a deep four. That makes it seven and six. From their own 46-yard line. Second down. Check 13. Check 13. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green. Gets it out in a hurry. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. Around the 38-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 38-yard line, second down. and finding his playmaker for the score. Well, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page. And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 58-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Spartans have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. They bring him down in the backfield. their own 22-yard line. It's second down. Gets rid of it quickly. 
This one will fall incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Throwing right. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. It's first and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Just over two minutes in the game. Hits him hard at the 45 yard line. Loss of three on the way. That'll bring up second and 12. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. The running back gets two on the carry. I feel the corner position is really one of the hardest to play. So when I see a young player like this make a play like that, it's impressive. Gets out to around the 35. Purdue's going to have to use their second time out of the half. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. Got the corner. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Not a whole lot of time left in this game, Brad. They've got to score down two possessions, and they need to score as fast as they can and then recover an onside kick and hope to be able to have a shot to tie this game. Got a man. Watch out here. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. Ready! Red 85! Red 85! Cut! And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. And a quick throw. And they make the stop right around midfield. That makes it just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Fires it out. And he's taken down around the 49-yard line. That brings up second and nine. And he stops the clock with a spike. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. I thought they did a good job of reading the play and positioning themselves well to break up the pass. He's going left. It's intercepted, and that should do it. And that interception, I think, is going to do it, partner. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31. 
We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Purdue's called their final timeout. Takes a knee. Boilermakers, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. Next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.